So I just remember writing, and then as soon as I knew it, I just woke up on the freeway floor. Damn. Yo. Yo, hey, what's up, dude? What's up, dude? Hey, thanks for letting me uh, like film this. Yeah, man, no worries. Uh, it's good to see you again. Man. It's great to see you, dude. How was last time? Oh, when was the last time we saw each other? Uh, two weekends ago. Okay. That sounds about right. Yeah, that sounds about right. So, just to start it all off. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I, I do YouTube on, like, motorcycle riding. Right. And you are a motorcyclist. Used to. Used to, yeah. <laughs> used to X. Yeah, used to. You used to be right there. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, there's a lot, there's a, there's a topic that no one likes to talk about. Okay. And that's when you crash. Or, you know, crashing your motorcycle. No one, no one likes okay. to discuss that. Yeah, I definitely don't like to think about it. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, we could dive, divulge into that. Yeah, if you're cool like, with that, you know. Yeah, no, I'm totally fine. That happened like two years ago now. No, yeah. actually a year ago now. Yeah. Yeah, it actually happened uh, last year, uh, right before, a day before Halloween, right? Yeah, it happened yeah. October 30th, 2021? Yeah, no, uh, 22. Two. No. No, 21, 21. Yeah, so a little over no, year. No, 22. 20, October, that was four months ago 21 you're right 21. my bad sorry no it's cool <laughs> so first that, off i got hit pretty hard <laughs> <laughs> first off i'm gonna ask you just basic bullshit questions okay just so people know because i know who you are but okay. my audience doesn't all right um first off who are you so um hi everybody you know i'm mike um me and joe have been friends for years um um as you can tell yeah i used to ride yeah um i used to ride uh, me and joe used to ride all the time um I didn't ride for so long because um, it was cut short because um, I got hit. <laughs> and uh, you were actually there with me, right? Yeah. Yeah, like you were there with me. So like you were, you experienced it with me. <laughs> yeah. So I just want to tell people, because like I said, everyone, and like how we did, mm -hmm. how I did, everyone gets into motorcycle riding and right. never thinks of, they don't, no one even likes to think of crashing. Right, yeah, like, nobody wants to think about the bad, you know, like, everybody just wants to think about, like, the good and, like, the gear and, and like, how cool you're going to look and stuff like that, which is, which is awesome because, you know, that's exactly what I thought about, you know? Yeah. I didn't, yeah, you know, I kind of lingered in the back of the head, but, like, nobody actually thinks that, like, that's just going to happen, you know what yeah. I mean? Um, just, just to start it off, uh, just a couple questions. All right. Um, one, can you <clears throat> describe the feeling of what it's like to ride a motorcycle man <laughs> there is no feeling man that that's um first first when you start off for me um you know how when you go on that roller coaster you get that stomach feeling and that drop that's how i felt you know i thought i thought i made a big ass mistake <laughs> so um yeah uh i thought i made a huge mistake because i was afraid of the bike you know um up until then, when I got the bike, that was pretty much my first time, like, actually, like, being on the street of a bike. And um, I was petrified. I was scared, you know. Uh, no, I thought about taking it back. But um, but once I finally got used to it, that feeling is just no other feeling, you know. I can't really t describe it other than being on that roller coaster, you know. It feels good. It feels really good. And, like, being in contact with the road and feeling the wind. And like the temperatures dropping and stuff like that, it's it's a real good feeling. Yeah. I really highly recommend everybody trying that out. What what got you? Because because how can I put it? Getting a motorcycle is a big commitment mm -hmm. because right. no one's family's happy about it. No, no my, one's, my dad certainly wasn't. Yeah, no one's girlfriend. I mean, at the time, mm -hmm. your girlfriend at the time was she happy about it? Um, she was. No, she wasn't really so happy about it, but she knew I wasn't going to change my mind about it. So. Yeah. She was with it. So my question is, <coughs> Harper, my question is, what was the tipping factor? Like, what was like, I'm doing this, I'm getting this bike? Well, you, actually. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, when you uh, when you got your first bike, your Yamaha, you know, for the first time, first time I laid my eyes on it, I was like, wow. And that was 26. In my head, I was like, wow, this is such a fucking nice ass bike you know this is a nice ass bike and i never liked bikes before never ever liked bikes before but once you got once i laid eyes on your first bike out in my head i was like damn i really want one and that was 2016 i got my first bike that was 2016 wow yeah. so i've always wanted a bike since 2016 yeah 
And uh, now I'm trying to think too. I'm nervous too. Mm-hmm. Cut it yeah. out. Um, that bike got stolen, correct? That bike, yeah, that yeah. got stolen. It's very unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that sucks. <laughs> That's unfortunate. That though. sucks ass, dude. <laughs> um, so I guess what everyone wants to know, mm-hmm. what bike did you have? I had a 2020 Yamaha R6. It was black, brand new, sexy as fuck. <laughs> it was a really nice bike. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure he's going to show you some pictures of it. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that was my bike, you know. And um, you've always try to talk me into um, trying out other bikes and stuff like that but since I laid eyes on your Yamaha I've always loved it that first ride mm-hmm. that day you got the bike mm-hmm. tell me how tell me the feelings scared <laughs> <laughs> I was scared because like honestly it, it, I'm sure you guys all heard it you know like once you get something that you've always wanted for like a long time you know it feels like a dream you know it doesn't feel real but it literally felt like a dream and it didn't feel real until until like I actually took shook shook the the seller's hand and he was like all right it's all yours then at that point like my heart was racing super hard and I finally sat on the bike put it in first gear stalled it (laughs) stalled it (laughs) and I was like oh fuck and then uh Put it for a scare again. Stalled it again. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, I finally got it to go, and um, I was petrified. I was so scared, so so scared. Um, but uh, I felt really good too because once I finally got into gear and I finally got it onto the street, I felt it for the first time. That thing just wanted to go. I honestly thought I was gonna fly off. <laughs> how was um? How hard was it to learn to ride motorcycles? <sighs> honestly. Honestly, it's not hard. It's honestly really, really not hard. Uh, you just can't be afraid of it. Yeah. Like how I was. I was so afraid of it. Like, like it just kind of just sat here in my garage for like a good seven months because I was so afraid of it. And like, I know you know that too because like you would tell me, dude, let's go, let's go, let's go. And I would always put it off because I was scared of it. I was petrified of it. But uh, just one day in my head, I was like, you know what? I got to get used to it. And then I slowly just started taking it out little by little, you know. I started off small, like little routes. And then once I built up the courage, you know, I make that route even bigger. Mm-hmm. And then it got to the point where, you know, I was ready to take it out on the yeah. freeway. And then that's when I let you know <laughs> to come and get me. <laughs> <laughs> so um, how dangerous are motorcycles? Nobody wants to hear, hear that they are dangerous, but they are very dangerous. They're very extremely dangerous. Extremely dangerous. Um, any little thing could fuck it up could mess up your life yeah you know um you could either get extremely hurt or death it's either one or the other and uh but yeah they're 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 very dangerous they're yeah they're not for the faint faint of heart do you think do you think it's more dangerous because we're riding the motorcycles Hmm. or because of the people around us oh definitely the people (laughs) yeah. <laughs> definitely the people trust me <laughs> i i know <laughs> take it from me yeah uh the people because uh what makes it so dangerous also is because like people aren't really trained to like look out for motorcycles you know they're trained to like look out for other cars you know um so when they see like a little well they don't really see you know a little person on a bike going the same speed as them you know they, yeah. they usually end up hitting you do you think riding at night do you think there's a difference between riding at night and riding during the day? Um, like two different beasts or the same thing? I say it's different because yeah. my accident happened at night. Yeah. Do you think it would have been... Per- oh, we'll get into that. We'll get into uh-huh. that. So two different... You think it's the same? No. I think it's totally different. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I yeah. think I think, I think. think if, if you ride at night, you got to be more, more um, aggressive on your ride because... Um, it's really hard for people to see you even in, even in daylight. So what makes you think they're going to see you even better at night? So you got to be more of a defensive driver, mm-hmm. if that makes any sense. Yeah. Rider. Yeah. Defensive rider. Um, do you think... How can I put it? You said that... Did, did I influence you to get a bike? 100%. <laughs> Without a doubt, 100%. <laughs> yeah. Well, because you are my best friend, you know? And like... You know, um, and like you had a bike, 
Yeah. And so, you know, I wanted to experience that experience as well, you know? Yeah. And also, your gear. <laughs> you, you look so cool, with, like, with your gear, with that helmet and your jacket, you know what I mean? Yeah. All padded up. No, you look cool on that bike. So, you know, I wanted to look cool, too. And your bike was just awesome. You had a nice ass bike. Do you... This is a big one. Do you blame me for you getting in your accident? I don't blame you, no. Not one little bit, no. Um, we, we probably could have done something um, to maybe have avoided that. Like, yeah. like we could have lane-splitted. Yeah. But... We were also really tired because we did come from work that day. You know, yeah. we did work that day. So we kind of just want to just like chill on the freeway, just cruise it, you know? I don't know if you remember that. I do. We'll but, get into that too. Yeah. I um, jump ahead in the video. But yeah. yeah, right. So I think that was all my main questions. What happened? Why does Michael no longer ride motorcycles? <laughs> um, <clears throat> well, you want the legit reason why? <laughs> The legit reason why is because I'm not rich. Yeah. <laughs> and if I was rich and if I had like money, then I would have another bike right now. Yeah. But um, no, I kind of put everything that I had into that bike. Yeah. And when I lost it, I lost it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. No, it's got. We got to just get the story out of the way. All right, let's get into it. So, walk me through that night. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Um. So it happened on Friday, like I stated earlier. Um. We. Uh, me and you. We both worked that night, or that day, um, and we usually always hang out on Fridays. You know, uh, that was our, that kind of became our routine. You know, to like you to come over and, and pick me up, and like we both ride together back to your place. So the next day, Saturday, we could have the whole Saturday just to ride together. You know, mm -hmm. that uh, that became routine <laughs> for a while. Um, so it was it was no different than any other Friday night. You know, um, you came and picked me up, but. This night was different because because we both worked really hard, you know, and like usually we always go fast and like in and out of cars and stuff like that, lane splitting, whatever. But this time we were both tired and like we just really wanted just to cruise the freeway and just enjoy the little ride that we had. Because, you know? oh, yeah, here, I'm going to stop. Okay. Are you okay if I stop? Uh, yeah, that's yes, fine. Go ahead. Okay. Is lane splitting everything it's cracked up to be? Is it hard? Is it mentally exhausting it is it is because you always have to be aware you know like you always have to like lane splitting you always gotta be on the lookout whatever you do when you're on your bike you gotta be on, be on the lookout with what with, with like wherever you're at on the bike especially yeah. with lane splitting because cars aren't used to seeing fucking motorcycles going between them yeah you know so yeah yeah it's mentally tiring because you're always um like hyper focus. Yeah, hyper focus. Yeah, exactly. You know, and um, when you got that bike, by the time you get off your bike, you're you're mentally tired. Yeah, and physically tired as well. So going back, so yeah. we were we were riding the freeway, uh -huh. and we we're both tired. Right. So yeah, um, you came down from your place, and you came picked me up, and then we made it to the freeway, and then we we're riding pretty good. You know, um, start off on the fifteen. Uh, 15 was good, smooth, you know, and then we finally made our way to the 91. It's 91, right? Uh, 15 to the 91, then to the 55, right? Then to the 405, right? Yeah, that's usually our that's route. the route. Yeah. So we yeah we did we did the 15, 15 to the 90. We were on the 91. To, to 91. Yeah. <clears throat> Which for those who uh, don't, uh, yeah, for those of you who don't know, uh, the 91 it's actually like a pretty big freeway where fucking. like a lot of cars just like merging together all at once. It's honestly that's a scary freeway. It really is, and yeah, people are ruthless. Fine. So, yeah. anyways, yeah. So go on, sorry. So um, yeah, 15 was good. You know, we cruised it. You know, at, as like we were cruising, we were talking to our little Bluetooth and stuff like that, and uh, we finally made it to 91, that crazy freeway, and then we finally made it to the far left. Uh, and then we're just cruising it and then like uh, like you were a couple feet you know in front of me you know because we had to have that little gap you know what I mean and then uh, as we were cruising uh, we saw traffic coming to a complete stop and you even told me on your booth hey Mike traffic's coming to a, to a complete stop you know just so you're aware and I was like okay cool yeah yeah you know so we just slow, slowed down which I never heard you respond to me yeah yeah I guess you didn't end up hearing me um, after that, cause uh, so I remember seeing you slow down, 
and then me, um, I was slowing down too, and I was about to come to my complete stop yeah. because I was already starting to like put my foot down, mm-hmm. and then boom. <laughs> Damn. What it hit me. Honestly, I didn't even know that I got hit. I just felt like... Well, uh, well what, what, what kind of hit? So happened? what I felt like is like... Wait, before you get into... Sorry, before you get into what it felt like, what happened? What kind of hit happened? Okay, so um, I ended up getting rear-ended by a drunk driver yeah um he was going 70 miles per hour yeah and i was pretty much on my complete stop already mm-hmm. so in your own lane in my own lane yeah we weren't even lane splitting no we, we weren't we were stopped with traffic yeah we were stopped with traffic yes and then um so i was for argument's sake let's just say i was at a standstill yeah and i got hit by somebody going 70 miles per hour in yeah. a truck mm-hmm. and i'll put i'll put pictures of <laughs> yeah the crash yeah he didn't take a lot of pictures because you know I'm not blaming you. You know, like yeah. you were freaking out. You know what yeah. I mean? I thought like, you were dead at first. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what it felt like, um, I don't know when you were growing up, um, uh, somebody ever like punched you like five star you in the back? No. <laughs> no? Okay, <laughs> no. well Oh, like with the with the open hand? Yeah. Oh yeah. Like, yeah. It uh-huh. on your back like really hard. Yeah. It literally felt like that. You know, I felt like somebody punching me in my back, but like super super hard and then um i felt like uh my air got knocked out of me and then uh so like in that moment you know i didn't know that it was a crash you know or like like i got hit mm-hmm. i fucking had no clue because it was dark too you know like yeah. it was dark so i couldn't even like see like what was going on behind me you know yeah. what i mean uh so i'm assuming in that time in my head where like I was in my head trying to figure out what the fuck was going on. Yeah. I was flying. <laughs> Quote unquote flying. You yeah. Know? Um, um, I don't mean to laugh at. No, no, like, we can laugh at it now, you know, yeah. because, you know, it's the past and, you know. Um, but yeah, I was quote unquote flying when I was in my head yeah. trying, trying to make out on what was happening. And then suddenly I, I hit the floor and started tumbling. You remember tumbling? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I remember tumbling. Um, and I remember I was trying to stop, you know, I actually like legit flex all my muscle to like try to stop. From tumbling. Yeah, from tumbling. Mm-hmm. And that shit didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. Um, How far would you say you tumbled if you had to guess? Because I have an answer, but I want to see what you said. I'd probably say six feet. No, more than that. More than that? You probably tumbled like 20 feet. Wow. Yeah. Fuck, 20 feet. Mm-hmm. Maybe 15. Damn. But not six. Let's just say 20 feet for argument's sake. 15, 20 feet. 20 feet sounds better. Yeah, sounds, yeah that sounds better. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, 20 feet. Wow. Yeah. So I must have flew like fucking... You rolled for sure. So I flew like a good portion of that and then rolled. Yeah. Damn. Because, yeah, okay. So we'll get into that too. I'm trying to stay on topic. Um, so yeah, you remember trying to flex and stop? Yeah. But you didn't? Yeah, that 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 didn't work out. Um, and then did you black out? I didn't really necessarily black out because I was aware of everything that was going on, but mm-hmm. I, just, I just didn't know what was going on. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then I remember when I finally stopped rolling, uh, for some reason, I just started crawling. I don't know why I was crawling, but I just literally started crawling. Which is good because you crawled into the median. Did I? Yeah, which is good because mm-hmm. no one's going to see. I mean, dude, I can only imagine if you got ran over by a car going 70 miles an hour. Fuck. That would have that been the end. That would have been the end. Yeah. So you started crawling? Yeah, um, I started crawling. Um, I don't know if you saw me crawling, but for some reason, I remember crawling. I don't know where I was crawling to or like what direction I was going. But oh, really? So yeah. you could have crawled in the traffic. Yeah, like I was dis... Uh, what's that word called? Down uh, disoriented? Point? Yeah, I was so disorientated. I don't know what made me crawl, but I started crawling and I had no idea what direction I was crawling into. Yeah. But somebody just told me to crawl. Okay. And I don't know what possessed me to crawl, but I just started crawling. So you got lucky because you could have crawled in a trap. Yeah, like I was on all fours on my knees and my hands, and I would start crawling. Um, just laying there. Like, no, just laying there and uh, just like still trying to make out what the fuck happened, you know? And like, why am I on the floor, you know? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I was just trying to, I was literally trying to like, like figure out what the fuck was going on, you know? Yeah. Like, how the fuck am I on the floor? <clears throat> Sorry. No, dude, it's yeah. cool. Sorry, I'm like, I'm I'm kind of living it with you, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I'm honestly having them little flashbacks right now. But, uh, so yeah, um, I was just trying to just like figure out, you know, like what 
what happened and why I'm on the floor, you know? And then I just remember, like, fucking, like, getting my visor just, like, fucking, like, yanked back, you know? Just, like, my, like, head, like, kept on getting, like, yanked back, you know what I mean? And I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck's happening? <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'm like that, you know what oh, I mean? Well, here's the thing, too, that uh, uh-huh. people should know. is Since I was riding in the front, mm-hmm. um, I I didn't know you crashed. Because uh-huh. it all happened so quick. But mm-hmm. I said, hey, Mike, traffic's slowing. I said, Mike, 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 traffic's slowing down. Because traffic came to like a pretty quick stop. Yeah, it came pretty quick. Um, and then I never heard anything. And I look back and I uh-huh. see, honestly, mm-hmm. honestly, yeah, I just saw your bike explode. Really? Like into... I've never understood that to this day and I've been riding for nine years now eight mm-hmm. years now when bikes get hit uh-huh. they blow up they quite literally explode they shatter huh? they shatter into p- millions of pieces uh-huh. maybe because they're all plastic and it's yeah. just I don't know but it blew the fuck up and I just saw you I guess I saw you in the beginning of your tumble uh-huh. and I remember screaming I did in my helmet uh-huh. I just screamed as loud as I could no 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 because I was like oh my god uh-huh. the, like I just never thought it was going to happen to us. Yeah, I never thought that either. And so I pulled, I had to, I mean, I can't just stop the bike and <laughs> in traffic. Mm-hmm. So I pulled maybe 40, 50 yards. I was pretty far ahead of you. Mm-hmm. And I just put the bike in the median, uh-huh. like half a mile ahead of you. Uh-huh. And I just ran back yeah. against traffic, uh-huh. like in that same lane. Mm-hmm. And by the time I got to you, the dude that hit you uh-huh. was already talking to you. Mm-hmm. So that's what I felt, huh? Yeah. Like, like him trying to yank my visor up. Yeah. But he didn't know how. Yeah. And also, he was drunk. Yeah, he was. Yeah, we'll get into that. Yeah. Yeah. So, all I remember, <laughs> literally, just feeling my fucking head being knocked back a couple of times, and then finally, fucking my fucking screen opens up, and I start to see light. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then, um, all I'm hearing is like, "Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay?" And like, that was me. Really? Yeah. Well, I heard him say that too. Oh, okay. You know, but um, I couldn't talk. You know, I couldn't talk. Because the air was knocked out of you? I don't know, but I literally couldn't talk, you know. Uh, Were you scared? I want to say scared, just like confused, you know. Okay. Disorientated. Okay, yeah, yeah. You know, um, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I, I remember seeing him first, you know, like he has glasses on, right? Yeah, he was a white, bald guy. Yeah. Um, older guy. Yeah, probably like 50. 50s yeah in his 50s yeah and then and it was uh you'll see in the photos but it was uh i would assume 1996 to like 1990 f-150 truck damn it was burgundy it was like mm-hmm. red well and, it was probably red at one point but it was uh-huh. so old that it turned faded right yeah and the only reason why he stopped is because my bike got lodged in, yeah in his front tire yeah it, right? it sucked the bike into the car fuck he bitch. ran the bike yeah. over what a motherfucker so if you were on the bike mm-hmm. god forbid yeah, I mean, with all that gear, you know how people like wearing like. Here's for instance. Oh wait, sorry. Um, oh yeah, no worries. For the instance, guys, I never used to wear my riding jacket. I used to. Okay, hey, no, like, no, no, no. like need, I'm gonna get a lot of hate hey, from we, the riders. Hey, but we need to get into that. How much shit did I give you every fucking day <laughs> when we went for a ride and you showed up in that bullshit <laughs> and just sort of yeah. Um, all the time. I call you a fucking loser. Yeah, you call me a loser. <laughs> Every I, single time, you give me so much shit for it. Every single time. You know, um, all I used to wear was a riding jacket. I mean, it was just a, uh, um, a striker vest. That's all I used to wear. God damn. Just a striker vest. Do you think people should wear a striker vest? I mean, it certainly helped me. Yeah. Get coyotes. So, yeah, we got some coyotes outside. <laughs> coyotes. It's death, dude. <laughs> it's death, yeah. Um, striker vests do help. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. They do help, but they only help if you're wearing like a legit approved um, riding jacket. Yeah. You know, that's the only way it helps. So this one night. Yeah. So the very first time ever. You bust out. I busted it out because you told me, dude, if you don't wear that jacket, I'm not picking you up. Yeah. You know, we're not gonna ride. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, all right, fine. I'm gonna wear my jacket. The very first time I've ever worn it. Yeah. And then this happens. And that jacket saved me. It saved fucking... Alpine stars, right? Alpine. Yeah, it was Alpine. It was Alpine. And so did the, uh, uh, the striker vest too. Because um, on the jacket, um, I didn't have padding in the back. Yeah. Uh, like where the spine's supposed to be. So yeah. I had my striker vest underneath the riding jacket. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, both those uh, both of those helped me out a lot. But let, like, let's say if I was wearing like this jacket. Yeah. Oh, dude, I would have been hurt. Yeah. I, I probably would have been 
hurt worse than than what I actually ended up with. Yeah. You know? So. Because like like I could show you guys too, like with my jacket, um, like where the road rash was at and stuff like that mm-hmm. happened exactly where the padding was at. Yeah. You no? Know? Yeah. So <laughs> He's, he opens up, you see him, and he's like, are you okay, are you okay, are you okay? Yeah. Go from there. Um, and I'm not talking, you know? Um, I just remember just, like, seeing him and, like, hearing him talk, but I'm not talking. Did you understand know? that this is the guy that hit you at first? No. Like, honestly, dude, I couldn't make out what was going on still, you know? I was just, like, in my own little world, you know? Like, everything, everything was kind of slow, to be honest with you. Everything was kind of slow. And I just, you know, I could hear everybody talk and, like, all the cars rushing by me and stuff like that, mm-hmm. but, you know... Like, I was there, but I wasn't there. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, And then um, I just hear you run up and say, get the fuck away from him. And, like, I think you pushed him. I'm not sure. I don't remember. And then um, I, I like, see you, like, uh, lightly touching my chest, you know? And you're like, Mike, 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 are you okay? Are you okay, Mike? Mike, Mike, talk to me. And then... I think I was starting to cry. Uh, did I talk to you? No. No, I, I just stayed quiet, right? So when I ran But my up, eyes were open because no, I remember no, seeing you. No, you weren't. No, my eyes weren't open? No. I ran up to you and I started shaking you. Uh-huh. Like not shaking you hard, uh-huh. but like I was touching your chest. I was like, Mike, 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 please, please talk to me. Please say uh-huh. something, please. And I started to cry because uh-huh. I was like, oh my God, he's dead. I just killed my best friend. Uh-huh. Um, or I didn't kill him, but you know what I mean? He's dead because... So in my mind, here's what happened to me or here's what I thought happened. Because the last thing I heard, I said to you was, hey, traffic's stopping. And I, mm-hmm. I hit the brakes pretty hard. Right. I thought that somehow made that guy hit you. Mm-hmm. Which is not the case. Right. So I was like, I killed my best friend. Mm-hmm. I killed my best friend. He wasn't ready to stop mm-hmm. abruptly like that. And I killed him. And I just thought too, I was like, he's dead. I thought you were dead. Uh-huh. And you didn't wake up. You weren't opening your eyes. I Dude, I started to cry. Uh-huh. I remember like being like, please wake up. Please, 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 please wake <laughs> up, dude. Please don't be dead. And then you opened your eyes. I was like, oh my God. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. Thank you, Mike. And you went, the first thing you said was. What did I say? You know what you said. <laughs> Is the bike okay? <laughs> no. You said, my fucking bike, dude. Oh, that's what I said. I said my fucking bike. <laughs> I guess that's when I came in to conscious and I yeah. was like fully aware of what happened. Yeah. My fucking bike. <laughs> yeah, that's the first thing you said. And I said, fuck the bike, dude. Oh my God, you're alive. Thank you. Uh-huh. And uh, yeah, go from there. <laughs> my fucking bike. Um, well, like, you gotta help me because um, I don't really recall anything pretty much after that, other than um, when the, when like some random people came up to me. Oh yeah. So once you woke up, I mm-hmm. did my best to get the guy. I okay. So I woke up to you and I was shaking you, and you woke up. Uh-huh. The guy came back, mm-hmm. and he knelt down to you. Mm-hmm. And I remember, so it was you sitting there, laying there, and mm-hmm. then me kneeling next to you, like just being with you. Mm-hmm. And he came back to kneel back down after I told him to get the fuck away from you. Yeah. And I remember, he, so we're pretty face to face. And I remember he looks at me and he goes, is he okay? Mm-hmm. Right? Just like that. Yeah. And then when he breathed on me, I the first thing I, I looked at him, the first thing I said, do you remember me saying this? I said, oh my God, you're drunk. I don't remember. Just like that. Yeah. And he looked at me and he was like, uh... And he just got up and walked back to his car. Uh huh. Um, and then I don't know what he did. I think he sat in his car. Mm-hmm. Um, and by that time, the whole 91 had shut down. Right. Um, all lanes of traffic were it. Uh, so there's seven lanes of traffic. That's how uh-huh. big this freeway is. Yeah. Seven lanes of traffic, and it was dwindled down to one lane in the mm-hmm. far right. That's how bad the crash was, huh? Yeah, it was bad, bad. Mm-hmm. Um, and the bike was just spewing oil everywhere. Uh-huh. It was just blowing the fuck up. And, um, Everyone, like maybe 10, 15 people mm-hmm. just came out of their cars to make sure you're okay. There was like two doctors there. Uh-huh. Remember that? Yeah. Um, yeah, if I remember somebody seeing somebody in like their scrubs. Yeah, there was a, a, I mean, it doesn't matter if he's Asian, but there's an Asian guy who was a doctor uh-huh. and there was a white girl probably in her 30s that she was like, I'm also a doctor. Uh-huh. And they're coming home from work or whatever. And then there, there was so many people there that eventually they were telling me to leave you alone because mm-hmm. they didn't realize that I was with you. Right. But I'm not going to sit there and argue with people. So I just kind of, I was like, okay, he's okay. He's alive. Mm-hmm. They're doctors. Mm-hmm. They'll watch him. Then other riders that were riding home too uh-huh. stop by. Remember that one guy in the Harley? I remember some Marine guy. I think it was a Marine. Some Marine guy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like, he was really, really cool because at that point I was aware and I was seeing a lot of people, you know out of their cars and like looking at me you know um i do remember hearing a chick's voice 
Yeah. But, but I don't know who it was. But um, I do remember uh, some Marine guy was was right there on his knees, like, walking me through every everything, you know. Like, he was comforting me, you know. He was telling me, you know, paramedics have been called, you know, the cops have been called, you know, they're on their way. Yeah. And, like, I think at one point he was holding my hand and, like, staying, staying there, you know. Like, he was just, like, asking me, like, what I do and stuff like that and, like, who am I? And, like, he explained to him, to me, like, who he was and stuff like that. Yeah. Really cool guy, honestly. Like, I think you mess. He gave me his Instagram to really? message you. Oh, okay. Maybe I think you did message him back. I don't think so. <laughs> oh, shit. But, no, uh, you did. You did show did me the I? text. Yeah. And he was like, I'm so glad you're okay, man. Oh, okay. I don't remember. But, um, yeah, he was, you know, that guy was really cool. You know, like, he didn't have to go above and beyond like that. Yeah. But he was there until, like, the cops finally showed up. Yeah. And the paramedics and stuff like that. But, um, so the next, what happened was um, they kept they kept this guy away from you. Mm-hmm. He just sat in his car. And I already knew from the – I you were alive, so I was happy. And I already knew he was fucked because he was drunk, drunk. Mm-hmm. He was like bad, like belligerently drunk. And I walked over to him to like – I already – I walked over to him. I don't remember why, but I, I went over to him and there was a kid in the car, like mm-hmm. 17. Yeah. And the kid was like – I was the driver, not him. Mm-hmm. And it, and I was like, dude, this guy's trying to pin it on his son mm-hmm. or whatever this kid was to him. I don't know. And uh, so they kept him away. The paramedics, the paramedics eventually come. Do you remember all that? Yeah, I do remember the the paramedics coming. Uh, first, the firefighters showed up, and then I think yeah. the cops showed up. The cops, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah. So it was the firefighters and the cops, or was it the cops? The cops, and the firefighters? The cops shut down everything. Cop uh-huh. came first, uh-huh. then. The firefighters and then the paramedics, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that did happen like that. Because I remember the firefighters showed up, and then um, they were there, and uh, uh, they told me to, like, grab their hands, like, put pressure on their hands, and, like, they did their full point of expression, right? And then I told them, yo, I want to stand up. Yeah, I remember and, this. And, and then they're like, are you sure? Are you sure you want to stand up? I was like, yes, I'm sure. I want to stand up. And then they, like, helped me up. And then I finally made it to my knees and I looked back on like the damages and stuff like that. I was like, fuck. <laughs> that was really what I said. I was like, fuck my bike. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I walked over to uh, where uh, where um, my bike was laying and and I think the cop was already talking to him. And then fucking homeboy literally has the nerve to like tell me, are you the guy that I hit? Yeah, because he was so drunk. He yeah. didn't know which one of us. Dude. Had. When he said that, Joe, I wanted to fucking launch at him. I wanted to take flight at him so bad. Yeah. And, like, I was going to, like, I nudged myself, too. But, like, my left knee, like, it just couldn't move, you know? Yeah. Like, it would move, but it was, like, slow, you know? Yeah. Like, it was, like, sledged or whatever, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, so, in my head, I was like, dude, I can't. You know, I can't. You know, I can't. I can't feel my knee. You know, my knee, my whole knee is numb. Yeah. And then... um. But yeah, dude, I I really wanted to take flight on him so bad when he said that. And um, then so real quick, when you got up, I was already again they wouldn't let me be near you. Mm-hmm. But when you got up, I remember you're standing up. I was like, okay, he's up at least, right? Yeah. And I remember you looked down at your knee. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I looked down at my knee, and I was like, oh fuck. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, you didn't know actually. Now what I say? You looked down at your knee. I was standing. I walked up to you mm-hmm. next to you. It was you, me, and the cop. Mm-hmm. And I look at your knee or. You what is it? You said something. You're like, I think I'm fine. Uh-huh. And then I look at your knee, uh-huh. and I just see a ginormous hole in your knee. <laughs> a big old gash. Huh? Big old. Not gash isn't even the term. Dude, just a hole in your knee. <laughs> big ass hole. And uh, I look at the cop. We look uh-huh. at each other, and then you're like, you see us look at your leg, and uh-huh. you go, what? Like, what's wrong? And you look down, and the cop went, no, 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 don't look at it. Uh-huh. Don't look at it. You don't need to look at it. And I fucking look. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me not to do something. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. And then, um, so yeah, so I was standing up and then he said that I want to take flight. I couldn't feel my knee. And then, um, uh, and then, uh, yeah, the paramedics finally showed up, you know, um, I actually didn't want to go inside the paramedic, you know, if anything, I kind of wanted you to take me because, because like, I know how like all the big ass bills and, sh- and shit like that, that were to come. Yeah. Uh, but you didn't have a car, you know, like you were on your bike as well. Yeah. So I'm going to hop in the back of your bike. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, so, uh, the ambulance probably uh, finally showed up, and then they put me on there, and then uh, they took me to the hospital. Yeah. They took me to the emergency room. And then uh, when I got there, finally, uh, it was crazy, because uh, when they wheeled me in, there was a big old crowd of, like, 
hospital people, nurses, and like this top surgeon. It's it's weird because it's exactly how like you see it in the movies, like when there's like a rush, um, the whole crew is like waiting right there, and like the head guy is like in the middle, just like waiting. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's kind of just like that, you know. And then uh, they see me, I guess, like sitting up straight and like talking and like laughing with these other guys because I'm making them laugh, you know. Yeah. And then uh, um, the, the top guy is like. <clears throat> this guy's good <laughs> and then uh, they put me in a room and then like he does his assessment and, and, and then like he's like okay well um, um, I'm gonna let my nurses um, handle you from here and then um, so yeah this you know. thing's gonna die any second so that's fine we're gonna switch it to here okay. we're pretty much at the end I'm just waiting for it to die oh yeah shoot your water oh yeah, yeah. your heart don't like this <laughs> Okay, so you get to the emergency room. Yeah, I get to the emergency room. And they finally let me see your parent. Oh, we more questions because this is what people need to see. Mm-hmm. How did you feel when your parents found out? Um, or when your family and friends found out? So um, I sent a Snapchat while I was in the ambulance to my cousin. And then um, to my cousin, to my sister, to my brother-in-law. Um, I sent a Snapchat to all of them. Mm-hmm. And then... Um, and obviously they viewed it, and then that's how my pops found out. You know, what I mean, how, oh, I live with my pops, so yeah. how did you feel? He was very worried. What is the feeling of knowing you're about to send send? Okay, hold on. What is the feeling of knowing you're about to let people know who everyone already knows that they're mm-hmm. gonna be like, well, that's why you don't ride motorcycles. Do you feel like, <laughs> fuck, like damn it. Honestly, I wasn't really feeling that that kind of emotion mm-hmm. at that time you know um i did feel that like a couple days later you know when i was on my bed trying to heal yeah you know um in my head i was i was like fuck you know that's why you don't ride motorcycles you know yeah um but no at the moment i wasn't feeling that at all you know do um so i guess that's the story mm-hmm. i got a couple more questions and then that's it which i can't thank you enough for yeah like doing this <laughs> No worries. For my channel. Um, there's there's hardships that... It never ends almost, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. What what were the consequences? What happened Okay, so, because you crashed or because you got hit? Something totally not your fault. Yeah, I get what you're trying to say. So, um, yeah, um, after my accident, um, because I was out for so long and... Uh, my you employers, couldn't walk. yeah, I couldn't walk. You know, I legitimately couldn't walk. You know, like I was on a wheelchair for like the first three, four weeks. You yeah. Know? Uh, no, actually, for the first month, you know, I was on a wheelchair for the first month. Yeah. And then I finally graduated to like um, crutches, mm-hmm. crutches, and then I graduated to like a walker, mm-hmm. or vice versa between those two. What was the pain like when the day after? When did the pain start setting in? And like, what was? How was that oh, trial? Shit. Okay, so. So after they uh, stitched, after they stitched me up, um, and like you were there too, you know, like you're right there. Um, yeah, I'll put the photo of me <laughs> yeah. taking a selfie. <laughs> and then, um, so after they uh, stitched me up, and then they uh, they uh, oh, wow. put their gauze on me or whatever, mm-hmm. and then I finally stood up. At that moment, I was like, "Whoa, I don't feel right." Yeah, I immediately started seeing fucking dots you know started seeing stars dots a bunch of dots and i started feeling weird inside and i was like well joe i gotta sit down mm-hmm. i remember that yeah you I, remember that right it freaked me out yeah and then you had to go and tell the nurse like get him some food or something like that yeah they gave me crackers i think, <laughs> I think your blood sugar dropped that's why <laughs> i don't know what happened but uh maybe the adrenaline was just finally it's true too yeah worn yeah. off but uh yeah and then uh and then you told me uh do you uh, do you want a wheelchair, dude? Like, can you walk? Yeah, dude, I could walk, dude. I, yeah, dude, I could fucking walk. And then I tried it. No, I couldn't walk. <laughs> I ended up wheeling your ass around. <laughs> yeah, you ended up wheeling my ass around. <laughs> and then you built me downstairs to get, like, um, some, like, painkillers and stuff like that that yeah. they prescribed me and stuff. And uh, some like, antibiotics to keep the wound clean, or clean and stuff like that. So, day after. Uh-huh. How many days? Because once it's all done, said and done, uh-huh. like, people know you're alive, people's yeah. okay. It's you dealing with it by yourself. Yeah. Honestly, I was, I really was dealing with it by myself. You know, yeah. I really didn't have any help because at the time my pops was out of town. Mm-hmm. He, he was out of town for the whole month. Yeah. Basically. So I was just there by myself, you know, and like you, 
you couldn't stop what you were doing you know what i mean like you have like your job and stuff that you have to maintain you know yeah and like we live like an hour away from each other so you can't just come down here you know what i mean yeah which i understand you know i'm not holding that against you yeah um but yeah i was just pretty much there just like handling it by myself you know until my dad finally came back yeah from his vacation um you know um how was the pain the pain was the pain was terrible i cried by myself <laughs> yeah like i was in my house and i was crying by myself because i didn't really have anybody there yeah at, at that moment mm-hmm. you know um i had a low point you know um i had to let my employer know you know i wasn't gonna be able to go into work for a while yeah um ended up turning out to be like for the rest of the year and then like two months into the new year so like you were out for five months six months i would probably say like five six months okay um but let's see um october or why am i gonna count october because it happened yeah. like one day before halloween yeah, so november so november december january february march so like five months yeah i was out for like five months mm-hmm. and then um worst five months yeah worst five months of my life you couldn't even drive yeah because um um i guess they didn't know i was gonna be out for that long and they were I actually did get terminated, and I got terminated, and so they fired you. Yeah, they fired me, and then um, fuck, dude. So you now know. you're in pain. So I'm in pain, alone. trying to heal, trying to walk, you know, and now a- alone. And now I got no income coming in. Yeah, d- d- those are like the worst feelings ever. Mm-hmm. I was really low at that point. Yeah, started doing drugs. What? <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> okay. Turn to drugs. <laughs> Just straight to that. <laughs> No, no, no. Um, I didn't do any drugs. No, but I was just at my low point, you know. Um, you know, um, I'd be lying if I honestly didn't really think about suicide. Yeah. Lying if I said I didn't think about suicide a little bit. You're fucking it up. Sorry, go. Sorry, someone texted me. So, yeah. Um, oh, that's so fucked up. We're talking about suicide. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on my phone. Dude, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Go on, go on. Why are you laughing? It's, it's not, not funny. funny. It's not funny, dude. I, I just... Okay, look at Look at I'm going to say it again. Okay. And if you laugh, uh-huh. I'm going to leave. This is your house. <laughs> Where are you going to go? If, if, if you laugh, you're going to leave. Okay, my bad, my bad. My okay? Bad. Don't put your hand over your face because I'm just going to take it as if okay, you're smiling. I won't do anything. Okay. I was thinking about suicide. <laughs> Dude, it's not funny. Okay, it's not okay. funny. It's just <laughs> okay, you, you, you preferenced it. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay, okay. Right, like, yeah. serious. Okay, I'm going to say it again. Okay. All right? Don't look at me. <laughs> every day. 24 hours in a day. Every second. Yeah. I was thinking about killing myself. Oh. <laughs> oh. Why are you laughing? Is that all you got? Oh. Well, I'm so sorry. Dude, I'm trying to open up and sympathize. I, I was, dude, I was there for you. <laughs> you know how many calls you call? I'd be like, "Fuck, this motherfucker's calling me." No, I'm kidding. bugging again. <laughs> yeah. So no, no, but um, um, so, so yeah, you know, uh, for a couple weeks, you know, I did think about suicide, you know, um, because I was so low, you know. Yeah. Um, I was going through a breakup, a major breakup at that time as well. Yeah, you were. Yeah, and the only thing that was keeping keeping my mind off of that was the gym, and the bike. Yeah. Those two things, mm-hmm. and they were taken away from me. You know, I couldn't work out. You know, I couldn't ride. Bike was gone. I couldn't walk. My job called me to, t- to tell me that they're that I'm terminated. Yeah. What I thought was about that suicide. Call? What was that call like? Did you beg them? I did a little bit. Like, please don't do this. Yeah, like, please don't do this. You know, like, this is all I got, you know? And then, um, so once they said, like, you know, I can't do anything to help you, you know? Like, like you're just going to have to get better and try to fight it. You know, I got dizzy again. You know, I started seeing stars again because that was like pretty much like all I had left. You know, was my job. Yeah. You know, and then that was taken away from me. Yeah. You know, that's why I started thinking about suicide a little bit. You know, but as the days went on, the weeks, the days turned to weeks, weeks turned to a month. Um, I started gaming. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, I started gaming really, really hard, and then um, I I got so fucking good at Warzone extremely good at warzone that like every single match i hopped into i would always win yeah. and you would know because i sent you <laughs> i sent you a snapshot of my win i used to get so mad about that <laughs> oh that was funny dude because like you got so annoyed of it you're like dude i'm about to block you because <laughs> <laughs> well, i don't care about you winning warzone after the 50th time all right so to wrap it up mm-hmm. would you get a bike again um uh, yeah i would love to get a bike again uh 
but um, I'm just not rich, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I have other priorities mm -hmm. that I have to take care of Absolutely. before I even think about getting a bike. Because uh, if I was smart, you know, I would have gotten myself a work car Yeah. Uh, to go to work and come back, mm -hmm. you know? But instead, I got a bike because I really wanted a bike, yeah. you know? So, you know, um, if I got money for a bike, I got money for a work car. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, those are for my priorities right right now. And if you could um say one thing to the guy that hits you. Huh. Oh, real quick, no, real big important. Everyone thinks that when you get in an accident, you're gonna mm -hmm. get all this money. Mm -hmm. Right? <gasps> you're gonna hire these lawyers, you're gonna get all this money. Oh fuck. <laughs> Tell people so they know. Uh -huh. When you get in an accident, mm -hmm. it's not that simple. No. First of all, don't do not call sweet James. <laughs> fuck that guy. <laughs> that <laughs> Wait, he's a lawyer. Maybe don't say fuck that guy. Nah, fuck him. No, oh, okay. I'm saying fuck him. Do, do not edit that out either. Okay. Do not call Sweet James, guys. Do not call Sweet James, okay? Uh, he fucked me, okay? He got all my money and just gave me 2000 <laughs> <laughs> Out of all that money that like, I got back, he he only gave me 2000 Yeah. He got more money than I got. Yeah, and you took the hit. Yeah, and I took the fall. I took the hit. I took the tumble. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, don't call him. So, but like... Yeah, but besides that... Uh, no, you don't really get a lot of money. You people think you're gonna win, right? Like, oh, yeah. if, you know. Honestly, it, dude, you probably could if you call the right guy, if you get the right lawyer. Yeah. But I got such a fucking crappy ass lawyer, I didn't get shit. Yeah. I really didn't get anything. Yeah. Do you, they took all my money and gave me two thousand, <laughs> and I couldn't do anything about it. Yeah, what, are you gonna sue them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, if you could say one thing to that guy, what would it be? Fuck you. Okay. Honestly. And I hope you suffer like like hard. Yeah. You know, I don't really like to wish bad on people, but just the fact that you were driving drunk, yeah, dude, like fuck you, bro, you know? Yeah. Uh also that guy, that was his Also for you guys that drive at night, who who ride bikes at night, lane split. One hundred percent. Don't think about it, just do it. If you're riding at night, lane split. Yeah. One hundred percent. Um, trying to think. Thank you for doing this. Yeah, thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, anything? Anything you want to say? Any advice you want to give riders? Uh, just that one. Um, definitely lean split at night. You know, definitely wear your gear. One hundred percent wear your gear at all times. Even if it's hot, wear your gear. It does save your life. Yeah, one hundred percent. I do. Well, anything you want to say before? Um. Yeah, um, if you guys like this video, um, and um, if, if you guys like Joe's content, uh, please subscribe, bell notifications, like the video, and, and, and if you guys like me, uh, leave a hashtag Mike in the comments, you know, um, and if you guys want to see more of me, hear, hear uh, more of my stories, I got a lot more stories, Joe knows I got a lot more stories, yeah. we both have a lot of stories together, so uh, yeah, uh, comment down below, let them know, and we'll get back to you. Thank you for having me. All right, dude. <laughs> Cut. Cut. <laughs> Cut. That's so fucked. Was that good or what? Dude, you killed it. <laughs>